guys, welcome back to another one here on the channel. You can see the uh, one it's up. We are going to be talking about the um, infamous 225 swap for my 197. I have been thinking about it quite strongly. I got a quote, it's not actually the end of the world, so I'm gonna be talking about prices, what that will offer, if you think it's worth it. I might do it towards the end of the year, next year, I'm not sure. But it's definitely something on my list, and sooner or later, I think it will be done, because this car is a keeper for me. So, the 197 comes with a two litre, naturally aspirated, 197s call it 200 horsepower engine the megan of the same year or same shape came with a two litre turbo 225 engine so from standard you've already got like another 20 to 30 horsepower gain plus it's turbo which leaves space for more tuning plus if you do the swap it comes with the um, megan six speed gearbox which if you know the clio box they're like chocolate touch wood I've had no problems, but I'm waiting for it. It will crunch at some point. Whereas the McGann box, from what I've heard, is next to Invincible. So there is that, that as well. So you get a better engine with more potential and a stronger box to actually handle it as well. Now there's a company who I, I was getting in touch with. I think they're called Custom Productions. That's what everyone was recommending. They offer essentially a drive-in, drive-out package. So they give you the 225 engine gearbox. They map it up to 270 horsepower, 260, 270, which I think for this chassis is like the sweet spot. And any more, it's a little a bit too aggressive. And they offer that for, I think it was five grand. They keep your engine and it's a five Five grand drive in drive out it's mapped it's fitted it's running everything which to be honest doesn't seem like a bad price it's definitely definitely something on my list whether it be this year next year the year after it will happen at some point and it's good to know the kind of price figures five grand for a full engine swap and mapped it's not actually too bad so yeah let let me know your thoughts um it's definitely something on my list uh, this engine's only given me one problem and that was the um the seal, I can't really see, oh yeah, that seal in there, that gave me a problem, but I did do a video on that. This is looking a bit moist. Is it me, or is that looking a bit moist? Do I pretend I haven't seen it? I think I do. If any of you have done the 225 swap, let me know if you think it's worth it. Obviously, for an engine swap, with minimal, it's, it's, it's a good, good gain, and it will have a different power band, because it's turbo, but it's not like a massive change. So if, if anyone has done the swap, let me know if you think it's worth it. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you again. Cheers.